Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. No longer do you have to have 100 acres to make a living on a farm. You can have a horse farm, 10 acres or so. We're going to show you a lot of equipment today, good teams that do this every day. They work for a living. Teamsters that know what they're doing, everything just pulled off really smoothly yesterday. It's definitely a pleasure and honor to be here. Fred Finney's with us here today, and he's going to be talking about some of the local Teamsters and aspects in produce farming as we go throughout the demonstration here. We're going to be starting here this morning with a, a homesteader plow from Pioneer. This is a 10-inch plow. Um, you can interchange attachments. We're starting with the plow. They also offer a harrow, a disc, hiller, a uh, cultivator, and a potato plow. This particular unit is perfect for small landowners and farmers with five acres or less. Numerous attachments available. You can easily switch these without tools, a matter of pulling a couple pins. Uh, there's a toolbar in the front axle that allows attachment to turn with the horses and provide better visibility for the driver. And these fit, obviously, halflingers or draft horse. Uh, sizes. So uh, this morning we got them hitched to Andy and Art and David Miller from Fredericksburg, Ohio. Just a little bit tough here this morning. They're right in a low spot, but that 10 inch homesteader just flipping that soil right over. If you want to get in looking at plows and performance of plows, what we want that plow to do is just pulverize that soil just a little bit. It doesn't have to work it up like a rototiller flipping it over, burying the trash, and then it's going to dry a little bit in real life conditions, and then we're going to come across with some other tillage tool like a spike tooth harrow, uh, spring harrow, whatever, disc harrow, uh, to work that down just a little bit more. Next plow in for the day is another Pioneer plow. This is a 14 inch sulky plow with a, with a Vernland bottom, also known as a KV. They also offer the, the 14 and the 16 inch bottoms, uh, as well as Oliver, John Deere, and Keystone. The Sulky Plow has been a farmer standby for over 30 years. Vernon bottoms excel in clay and muck type soil. The extra long mold board with a slower twist offers a smooth, continuous furrow instead of the buckling and tearing often experienced in the sod. Vernon bottom parts have a special heat treat and last four to six times longer than conventional parts. Hooked to three abreast of Belgian horses, driven by Marty Miller. Right here, local, I guess, a uh, young teamster here doing a good job. Three horses just walking off with that Vernland bottom. As you see, that soil is just turning over nice and slow. Uh, there are times that uh, we want a short, stubby mole board, but there are lots of times we want that longer, slower twist, such as today, turning over sod is an ideal situation for this mole board. Coming in with the left-hand plow this morning, we have one from Master Equipment LLC right here in Apple Creek, Ohio. This is a sulky plow with a 14-inch John Deere bottom with a conventional share. This is model number 98, sells for $1,305. Uh, local dealer is Yoder Plumbing at Big Prairie, Ohio. Uh, they also offer this plow in a, in a right-hand model. Okay, coming in is the White Horse two-way plow. This has, been, this has been watched a lot the last couple days. This is a prototype. It's the only one they've got. It is not for sale. We're still in the process. Uh, model number 732, brand new prototype number one. This has got a leaf spring reset like they're putting on some of the other new plows. Local dealer's going to be Trail Farm Supply. Uh, we've got a little write-up here about this uh, all-new model 732 two-way sulky plow. This principle comes from quite a number of plow manufacturers of a bygone era. Now we have a combined that with our own present day manufacturing procedures and ideas. You can see the results so far. It's a two-way plow also called a hillside plow. Two-way means you can plow the same furrow in either direction. This eliminates all dead furrows in the center of your 
All that plus unique side leveling system makes it a must on a hillside or narrow strip tilling between other crops, rows of plastic and so forth. This plow is well balanced with our all-purpose Keystone series plow bottoms designed for slower speed animal draft uh, power. This model is a prototype, meaning that is it in the development stage and not in production yet. The two-way plows that you see nowadays are sitting in folks' sheds. They're not for sale. They're collectors. Some of them are more or less worn out, but the, but the concept still remains. You can borrow that concept. They're reproducing some of these things. That's what Horse Progress Days is all about. So they're going to go down through here. I don't know if they're going to flip around and come right back, but that's the idea is uh, smaller produce patches. Uh, we don't like dead furrows. Plastic layers don't work too well. It, uh, it holds a little water and uh, doesn't drain as well. The crops never do as well in a dead furrow. So now we can uh, go, to the, go to the end. Uh, there's a foot lift lever, I believe, that flips that, uh, flips that, that mole board up. Okay, we're coming in with uh, the foot lift model of, from Pioneer Equipment. 14-inch foot lift plow. With the, this has got an Oliver bottom on it. Oh yeah, she'll penetrate the soil. 14 inch, also available in 12s and 16s. And of course, uh, the Oliver Bottom on here, also available John Deere, Vernland, and Keystone. Uh, since it was introduced in 2008, the Pioneer Footlift Sulky Plow has become a favorite by many farmers. Uh, reason being, number one, you got a hands-free operation to raise and lower the bottom with a spring assist foot pedal. Number two, the tongue turns the front and the rear wheel uh, in the furrows. You get a lot better control coming around the ends, getting into your furrow. This is a type plow that I grew up on. It was, a, it was actually a John Deere plow. I see a lot of similarities to that. Um, most of the people in our area had a foot lift plow. And uh, this is a very, very well-built plow from Pioneer, hooked to a six of Halflingers. We've got Andy and Art in the lead, Andy, Art, and Arley. Um, Navy, Mike, and Stoney in the wheel. They range from six, uh, we got a six, five, three-year-old, all the way up to 11. Okay, on the other side, another one from White Horse. This is model number 715. It's got the number four keystone bottom on it. Leaf spring reset, single bottom, sulky plow. Number 715 sells for $3,050. Uh, of course, from White Horse Machine and Trail Farm Supplies, your local dealer. This is an advanced plow with a combination of unique features that makes it a youngster's plow. Designed for tough, rocky conditions. Spring assist, easy, lift lever connected to both wheels will lift front of the plow evenly. Hands-free steering allows rear wheel to caster when turning and locks in rigid when plowing. Draft hitch can be adjusted horizontally with a hand lever without stopping the plow. Optional weights can be added for hard, rocky conditions allowing plow to remain stable while the leaf spring is fully activated. The skimmer is designed to assure that all surface residue is completely turned over, very important. This tool is essential for weed control and unwanted regrowth when plowing sod. That's something that we see, some of the old plows, some of the old plows that are actually worn out and we're still using them, are gonna use, they're gonna leave a strip. You guys that have been plowing sod for lots of years know how unhandy that is when you got a strip between every furrow, just a small narrow strip of that, some of that sod still growing. And so they've got this, uh, this bottom on there is going to completely bury all the trash. For almost 40 years, Rural Heritage Magazine has helped readers borrow from yesterday to do the work of today. The magazine is packed with stories and information about farming and logging with draft animal power, as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. If you or someone you know wants to run a self-sufficient, diversified family farm, or just learn how to make a weekend hobby farm more productive, Rural Heritage Magazine is a smart choice. Articles cover a wide range of interesting and useful topics and are written by people living on the land doing the work they write about. A one-year subscription is $34.95 for six issues, 24% off the newsstand price. Sign up for two years and save even more. Order online at www.ruralheritage.com or by calling 319-362-3027. That's www.ruralheritage.com or 319-362-3027. Coming in next is a blue roan pair of uh, Belgian crossbreed horses pulling a Pioneer Spike Tooth Harrow. Six footer this time. They sell them in all sizes, five, six, 10, 12, 15, and 18 feet. 
ideal machine for leveling, weeding, and seed bed preparation. This one's brand new for 2014. Again, a little more flexibility, redesigned frame, enhances performance over furrows or rough soil. Nice pair of well-matched four and five-year-old crossbreed uh, Belgian horses. Now we're coming in with a, a spring tooth harrow, again from Pioneer. This is also a six-footer, and they sell them in threes, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 16 feet long or wide. Pioneer Spring uh, Harrow is a longtime favorite for many farmers. Again, this is a machine that's been reproduced. A lot of the old spring tooth harrows are no more, sitting in fence rows or maybe uh, even went onto the junkyard. Ideal machine used for leveling your soil after plowing, and it works well for weed killing and seed bed preparation. Sometimes this is all that, all that you need after you plow, depending on your soil conditions. This is, this is one good way of uh, conditioning your soil, getting it ready for a, for a good seed bed. Okay, coming in next, we got the Shipshi Kalamosher. This is a three foot wide uh, with the front adapter. $1,700 plus the shafts for $234 equals $1,934 for the outfit as you see it. Comes from Shipshi Farm Supply and Trail Farm Supply right here. Uh, three, four, five, six foot sections, and they can put together whatever you need to, uh, to build something like a 12 foot or whatever. Our Kalamosher is the ultimate machine for leveling wheat control and seed bed preparation. It will really bust up clods on the ground that was worked in adverse conditions. This three-footer could also be available with a tongue on for a team. Okay, from Robert Eicher, nice halflinger mare. She's 12 years old, and uh, she knows how to work. Again, these Kalamoshers, a uh, reproduced version of the old Kalamosher. They've got the spring tooth right in the front. It's going to flip up a few more clods that hadn't been stirred yet. Stir up that soil, pulverize it right back down. Uh, you can see what these uh, really do right here in these soil conditions. The other column usher comes from Huckback Easy Trail. This is a four-footer, model number 3603, sells for $1,070. And from Knob View and Yoder's Produce, the local dealers, those little skids up front, they actually swivel. That uh, gives you a lot better maneuverability. There's a bigger roller in the rear for better performance hooked to a pair of Belgian horses wearing the, what, the biothane harnesses or something from Woodland Harness. Again, another example of, of uh, the giving and pulling together nature, what it takes to get this horse progress days off on a good start. Coming in next is another brand new piece for 2014. This is a Pioneer 16-foot Kalamosher. They also make an 8-footer, and there's a 10-footer coming for 2015 to Davis County, I believe. Features and specifications here, number one, it'll save trips over the field by doing more than one pass. Reason being for that, we've basically, what we're doing here is pulling two column ultras at one time. If you notice the front part, we've got teeth, we've got a cobbler, and then we've got another one right behind it, teeth, and again, a different style of crumpler. Articulated center allows unit to turn without leaving skippers or creating a drag. The tongue provides much better control when turning going downhill, which is important here in Ohio. Tines raise and lower vertically instead of a circular motion. Uh, some of the Danish tine units that are out here will come in at an angle, which is fine when they're the right depth, but at other depths, they may not do quite, quite as well a job. These actually have a little bit of a sweep on it. You could take this into a field that's been set for a couple of weeks and got some nice weed growth coming on, or I say nice. I like, uh, I like to let a, bit, a little bit of weed sprout and then get in there and kill those. But this would be a really good tool to uh, to take care of that. We got the Pioneer Homesteader coming right back to us, this time with a disc attachment. Uh, earlier we had it in here with the plow. It also sells with uh, the harrow, the hiller, the cultivator, and the potato plow. Perfect solution for small landowners and farmers, five acres or less. Numerous attachments allow you to do more with less machines. Easily switch equipment without tools. Toolbar in the front of the axle allows it attachment to turn with the horses and provides better visibility for the driver. Coming in next is a fertilizer spreader from the Evener Shop. This is model number 300. Sells for $2,149. Local dealer is Midway Repair and also Shipshi Farm Supply. Uh, they sell a choice of wheels, steel, steel with bolt-on rubber, and also air tires. Improved braces. Uh, help hold that hopper in a stable position. Spreads up to 60 feet wide, depending on what you've got in it. I don't know what they're going to be using here today, but uh, it did a very nice job yesterday. Possibly use it to spread gypsum. You could use it to spread rye for cover crop or whatever. 
you can cover a lot of acres in a small amount of time. Being pulled here by the Blue Roan Belgian crossbreed mares. Coming up next, as I believe, is our Vicon spreader from Easy Easy Trail Hogback. A local dealer is uh, the Knob View and, uh, no, wait a minute, I got this on the core card. Vicon fertilizer spreader. This happens to be on a number seven. Yeah, number seven mower gear. Uh, somebody told me that John's working on their own gear that they're going to be building to run one of these Vicon spreaders. This is a Cadillac of the ground drive fertilizer spreaders, very precise and very uniform. Fred can tell you how it can ban fertilizer or seed or feed. Look at that arm flying back and forth. Just amazing what kind of job it'll do. You can leave a strip in the middle that doesn't have any fertilizer, I believe. We got the plastic layers coming in next. This is a flatbed plastic mulch layer. Uh, SL4300 comes from Nolks Produce Supplies. This one sells for only $1,594 that includes the drip attachment that he's got on there, he's going to put drip tape right down in there, smooths out the soil, cuts furrows, and lays plastic and drip line in one pass. Hooked to an Easy Trail four cart. Easy Trail's got lots of four carts and lots of different options. See them at their booth, and uh, you can have one to your own specifications and your price. It always takes a little bit of adjustment every time you go into the field. The soil conditions can be just a little bit different. You don't just drop her down and not look back. You make sure you want to do that nice and tight. The wind can't get a hold of it. This plastic is donated by uh, Poly Expert, I believe, embossed mulch, and uh, has a lot better huggability to the soil than the old original plastic had. Uh, it stays down better and comes up better at the end of the year. Uh, we've got one coming in now called the Ultimate Plastic Layer. It comes from Hogback Easy Trail. This is model number 1745. It sells for $2,589 from Hogback Easy Trail and Yoder Produce. This would also work as a three-point hitch uh, model, or they have those available. And uh, see them at their booth, again, hooked to one of their Easy Trail four carts. Uh, this ultimate plastic layer is going to pull easier than anything else on the market, I dare venture. Because of all the rolling colors, there's no drag. Uh, four or two sets of, of four, two sets of uh, rollers in the front are going to roll that soil into a, to a little mound making that raised bed. The, soil, the bed firmer, I believe, is on springs, and it rolls as well. Coming behind, we've got the press wheels. They roll. Behind that is another set of colors that are going to throw the soil in on the edge of the plastic. They all roll. Those horses just walking off with it. We've got one in our area. The guy said he's using half-breeds and uh, half-lingers, two horses walking off with that thing, and again, laying the plastic drip line in one in one uh, pass along with dry fertilizer. I believe this time they've got the uh, uh, Omri approved fertilizer from Greenfield Farms right in there. It's like chicken, dried chicken manure with no litter. Com composted chicken Compost, manure. Compost, there you go. 110 gallon transplanter from Hawkback Easy Trail model number 1801. Cost is $2,135. Local dealers, Yoder Produce Supply. Uh, yep, they got other sizes and models available. This particular one has got the gooseneck adjustable tongue on there. Hey, I think you need to adjust that tongue and get those guys closer to the plastic. What do you think? I wouldn't last long on that seat. Wow. Again, pulled by a heavy duty four cart this time from Hogback Easy Trail. They've got the extra wide evener and uh, uh, neck yoke up on front. And he had to put in a little extension in the, in the uh, cross check on the horses so they can uh, straddle that plastic. So doing a very good job there and pulling a water wheel transplant. Another advantage for that is you can put some of that good Miller's uh, water soluble fertilizer in there, the starter, the 418, uh, or I'm sorry, the 12488, I believe they would like to put in there and uh, gets those plants off to a running start. All right, let's focus on this water wheel transplanter from Nolts Produce Supply, P850. Uh, I guess it's got an 850-gallon tank on it. Sells for $1,440 with that planter wheel right there. Uh, the removable spikes, adjustable uh, planting, plant spacing. Uh, local dealer here is Wanger's Farm Supply in Bainbridge, Ohio. Yep, they've got a bigger one available, 1,500-gallon or 150-gallon tank. This is designed to plant potted plants into plastic mulch. The water wheel has a snap on the spikes, which allows you to, 
to plant at multiple spacings with the same wheel. All you need is a handful of spikes, and you can plant. Uh, you can select your plant spacing and go from there. Okay, we got an INJ five tine riding garden cultivator. Uh, this one is great for uh, truck patch farmers. You only need one operator. You can sit on the back there and drive a horse like this halflinger mare here. Um, it's an effective tool to combat weeds with one horse. It would also have a three-foot rolling uh, cull emulsion deal that you could pull on behind. Okay, right now we've got the five-ton cultivator, five-tine cultivator from Hogback Easy Trail, model number 3201. Sells for a dollar less than three hundred dollars. Very innovative tool, adjustable width, five-time cultivator from Hogback Easy Trail, Yoder Produce and Nabu. Single halflinger uh, is going to pull this one down the road. Takes to, uh, takes two people to operate it uh, on a setting like this. If you've got some of these produce horses that have been in here and, and uh, doing this for a living every day of their life. You could probably do like the old plowman, throw the uh, throw the lines across your back and do it all all by yourself. Another cultivator up. INJ Manufacturing, five-time walk-behind garden cultivator, another effective tool to combat weeds with one horse. Adjustable width from down to 12 inches all the way up to 30 inches. I'm not going to embarrass you this time. Uh, it's available. Uh, they make uh, uh, cultivators, they specialize in cultivators from one to 12 rows. And again, lots of dealers throughout U.S. and Canada, also in Europe. So these equipment manufacturers are getting into the exporting business as well. All right, we've got a nice tool here from Miller's Repair Shop. This is actually a two-row cultivator. They dropped out the center gang. This is model number M2R, and uh, they're selling this as a produce unit. They've uh, taken the single caster wheel off. They put this, uh, this bar in the back with two swivel wheels. Look at those horses, the speed they're going, Fred. That's amazing. And he's just very careful. He's got foot pedal steering on this. Uh, comes from Miller's Repair Shop in Aaron Troy from Apple Creek, Ohio, being the local dealer. They sell them all the way up to four-row cultivators. They uh, sell them with cushion seats with a slide, adjustable, also air tires. You can take that back tubing off and put a single caster wheel in there for row crop production. Uh, great for corn. Um, Okay, uh, I think you can put rolling fenders on as well. From Miller's Repair, nice team of Belgian horses that are used to doing this and working for a living. And uh, getting in there close, you can get a very precise job of cultivating right on either side of your plastic. A uh, little more stability, but a little bit more money than one of these walk-behind cultivators, Fred. We're back with an INJ. This is designed to straddle the plastic again. Taking a row crop cultivator, dropping that center gang out works very well for this plastic. Um, sells for $1,790. They build them all the way up to uh, four, 12, uh, 12, four rows with horses. They also sell tractor models up to 12 rows. This one is fitted with the Kolf finger weeders from Europe, from Germany, I believe. Let me see if I got inf information on that. In row weeding is possible. Finger wheels for all horse drawn cultivators. Fits on most existing and new INJ cultivators for crops like beans, corn, strawberries, onions, garlic, and more. Available in different widths from 5 to 10 inches. The L blades work close for uh, work and plant production. Additional German style spring loaded. Special sayers available. This is actually a prototype, I believe. All right, let's talk about this uh, cultivator lifter from INJ Manufacturing with the Yoder plastic lifter on it. Uh, this complete unit, the way it's set up right now, uh, that is without the horses and the driver, is $2,350. Uh, they also make uh, cultivators, of course, with the three-point attachment. This is Pet Pete, the plastic lifter, model number 2000. Cost is amazing to me, only $1,445. Hogback Easy Trail, Noter Produce. There are no other models available at this time. Uh, why would you need a different one? This has got a lot of different adjustment on it. What he did here, uh, to me, looks like he borrowed a little bit of the concept on that INJ lifter, uh, put it on a frame of its own. This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319-362-3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. 
It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of Back to the Land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information. Or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.